What's going on guys? Welcome to your 35th tutorial in the UDK and in this tutorial I just want to talk to you guys about some very important lighting concepts concerning the UDK and concerning computer games in general. So I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of adding, moving around lights, doing this and that in this tutorial but once you understand this tutorial and what I have to teach it's going to take your knowledge of lights in the UDK to a whole nother level so this is actually probably one of the most important tutorials that I made yet so you definitely don't want to miss it so basically the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is how light is calculated whenever you're playing a computer game so whenever you're playing a computer game or a PlayStation or Xbox game most of the lighting information you see is actually calculated before you even start that game and by that I mean if all the lighting information like all these properties were calculated as we were playing the game then it would just slaughter our processor and our computer would lag so that's why whenever you're playing a computer game what the UDK does is it makes these things called light maps and shadow maps for all the lights that don't move for example if we were to play this game the UDK beforehand would create a light map and a shadow map for this light right here since this light doesn't move it's able to pre-calculate all the points where this light is going to hit and all the spaces where this light is going to illuminate beforehand and what that does is it saves our processor a bunch of having to process the lights while our character is running around and you know trying to do the important stuff like shoot aliens and stuff so with that being said I told you guys that what the UDK does is make these things called light maps and shadow maps so I guess I better explain to you guys what those things are a light map is basically a texture so let me go ahead and actually show you one uh, let me, hopefully when I type in light map yep we got some right here go ahead and select texture so as you can see a light map is basically a texture telling the UDK which parts of your map you want to light up so since we have these textures built beforehand whenever we load our game all the information is there it doesn't have to process it as our character is moving around so that way it basically saves our computer a whole bunch of work so that's what a light map is a shadow map is basically the exact same thing but what a shadow map would do is it would use its texture to tell the UDK where the shadows are so a light map tells the UDK where the light is gonna hit the shadow map tells the UDK where the shadows are so there's our two terminologies on maps now another you know bit of terminology you're gonna come across a lot when you're working with the UDK is static lights and dynamic lights now I'm guessing you guys can probably figure out what these mean just by the sounds of them but just to clarify because I don't want to skip anything a static light is a light that doesn't move for example this point light right here would be a static light a dynamic light is a light that actually moves during gameplay so if you were to put this light on a moving path and you want it to you know move back and forth and back and forth during gameplay that would be a dynamic light so with that being said static lights are lights that we can make a light maps out of those are lights that are pre-calculated and it makes it really easy on our computer's processor to have static lights so whenever you're creating a level keep that in mind a bunch of static lights make it really easy on your computer dynamic lights however aka the lights that move they can't be pre-calculated so they actually need to be calculated during gameplay and this takes a lot of processing power from your computer so whenever you're making a computer game keep that in mind that you kinda wanna stay away from dynamic lights sometimes you need to have them but as a general rule don't include a lot of dynamic lights in your level or else your computer is gonna lag so that being said we know the basic terminology of lights and basically static lights are better than dynamic for that reason so now let's go over to the different types of lights so I showed you before if you go up to view browser windows and actor classes we get all these different types of lights now let's go ahead and let me explain to you guys what all these different types of lights are uh, I guess I might as well just start from the top and work my way down a directional light is basically you would use this whenever you're working with a really distant light source like the sun um, that's all I'm gonna say right now so directional lights are pretty much a distant light source like the sun or a light that you're never gonna get to directly a point lights is the light we're most familiar with it comes from a single point and affects all areas around it kind of like a light bulb that's the lights that we've been adding in our level just to like light, light things up real quick a skylight is it's kinda of weird because I can't really explain this any good way 
what they did is they made two hemispheres, a top and a bottom, and they made like an infinite light source. And this basically, the reason you use skylights is whenever you want consistent ambient light across your entire level, basically it's a broad light that can cover your entire level. That's when you would use a skylight. Again, I know I can't really explain to you guys what a skylight is because you can't really make one in the real world. So I'm going to have to show you guys whenever we're working with it and making a big level. I'll show you guys what it means. So don't worry if you don't understand it right now. And last but not least, a spotlight. Like I covered in the last story, it's a light that comes from a single point that comes out in kind of a cone shape, kind of like a flashlight. So now you're saying, all right, I know what direction the lights, point, sky, and spotlights are. So what are all these little things right here? Well, all these things have kind of like a normal setting first, like skylight, point light, direction light. This is kind of like the default. So aside from that, you see toggable, movable, toggable, movable, toggable, movable. And I guess I'll tell you guys what toggable and movable. Toggable basically means that you can turn this light on and off. So later on when we're learning Unreal Script and Kismet, which is basically how you program in the UDK, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make a light turn on and off. So you would want to make that toggable. Now a movable light, you see all of these classes have movable besides skylight because like I said that kind of covers the whole thing. All of these lights have movable. That basically means that they're dynamic and you can make paths to move them along. So pretty much toggleable means on and off, movable means that you can move them. So that covers all of our lights, except if you caught me, you noticed that I didn't cover these lights right here. These lights down here are special lights called pickup lights, where if you ever played a game where you could go around and pick up objects like money or weapons or armor or health, this is what those lights are. Again, they're a special kind of light used whenever your character is running around and they can pick up items. So I'll be showing you guys those. They're really easy and simple to work with. But that's what those are. So don't forget that, you know, don't blame me because I didn't cover them because I just did. So anyways, that's all the important lighting concepts. So basically now you guys know all there is to know about the different types of lights. And also the main concepts that basically whenever the UDK works with lights it turns all your static lights into light maps beforehand and it makes it really easy on your processor and well I basically told you guys everything you need to know so now when we're working with lights you're gonna understand what I'm talking about a whole lot better and why I'm doing the things I do a whole lot better so for now that's all I got for you guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video